Hey guys, welcome back to Coffee Cats and Chats, the weekend edition. <laughs> so, um, this is not coffee, this is actually Chardonnay. So yeah, it's Friday, TGIF, right? Cheers. <laughs> I don't know why I always look like I'm in pain when I'm drinking, but I do. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, tonight we will be reviewing, da 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 da, I don't know if that's in the way, or in the right spot, but here we are, the Cream Shop Cheer Up Skin Animal Sheet Mask. So, I got a box of five of these at Winners, I know it's $7.99, so that works out to be around like $1.60 per mask, so that's pretty good price. Um, I suggest buying all your sheet masks and boxes because that's the best deal <laughs> to be honest um, otherwise you're gonna pay like around three bucks for just one so but then you do run the risk of not liking that mask and then you're stuck with four more of them so there is that downside as well but yeah uh, I have used these before so uh, this is actually my last one left <clears throat> so I'm just going to read a little bit about the cream shop to you and the packaging and everything like that. So the cream shop began in South Korea over 45 years ago and in 1988 they opened their US headquarters. They are a 100% cruelty free brand as well. So yeah, um, we all know Korea is known for their K-beauty and everything and awesome skin. So. This is the Cheer Up Skin animal, Animated Animal Face Mask infused with brightening white pearl essence. Add character to your beauty regime. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Sorry. Animate your skin with the Cream Shop's Animal Masks. Seal in moisture and eliminate. Seal in moisture and eliminate dull skin with this nourishing face mask infused with brightening white pearl essence. This zany zebra will have your face beaming. And a fun fact: zebras sleep standing up. So how to use, cleanse and dry skin, leave mask on for 10 to 15 minutes or until dry and then no rinsing necessary. Allow skin to absorb nutrients and it may be refrigerated before use for a cooling effect. So I have done that before, I actually forgot to do it for this one, um, but it does feel really nice when you throw it in the fridge for like an hour before you put it on your face. So um, if you're sunburnt or anything, that's a good little tip, throw your sheet masks in the fridge as long as I I'm sure other ones won't get hurt if they do that, but anyways, this one can be put in the fridge and it feels really nice. So I am going to go wash my face and then I'll be back and we'll throw it on and we'll go over some ingredients and then I will, yeah, show you guys how it works. So, see you shortly and this will probably be a little less. <laughs> Bye. Hey guys, welcome back. So I'm all clean now and I'm getting ready to put the mask on for you. So I always feel like Ariana Grande's older ugly cousin when I'm wearing this bow. She can rock it. I uh, mean that's not so much. Anyways, <laughs> cheers to that. Da -da -da -da. So here we are again. The Cheer Up Skin Mask. It has a nice notched top on there so it's easily open like lot. <clears throat> Doopa -doo. So we're going to open up and as you can see inside here, lots of, lots of serum in there. So I'm going to open it up. As you can see it's very laden down with product. Gah, get out my heart out of my face and start unwrapping. So I love these masks because they make you look like animals. They have like unicorn ones, um, bears and hippos and so this is the zebra one and then the packaging has cute little fun facts about the animals on it. Oh my god Adele, what are you doing? This is just the best. Oh, here we go. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Okay, we're in business. Oh, oh. Shake yourself free. Okay. Da -da -da -da. Oh, my terrifying eye. <laughs> this one's. Too I have four eyes looking at you. <laughs> Hello. Oh my god. 
Oh, okay. I'm gonna have to peel my eyes down. There we go. Oh, now they just lay on my face. But... And the little ears. Hello. So there we go. It's really full of product, so it sticks to your face super easily. Um, I had a little issues getting unraveled, which I've never really experienced before until today, of course. So I'm just going to wipe excess product <clears throat> on my neck. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. I am... Dealing with a little frog in my throat. So we'll drown him with wine. That's what you do. Except children. Don't, don't do that. Just drink chocolate milk or something. Right. So, okay. I'm going to start my timer here for 15 minutes. And we'll continue and we'll talk about what all the good stuff that's on here. So, it has niacinamide. That's the AKA Pro Vitamin B3. It's a skin restoring ingredient that offers multiple benefits for aging skin. <clears throat> Excuse me, like improve appearance of enlarged pores, uneven skin tone, fine lines, dullness, and a weakened skin surface. Next up, we got the pearl extract that they mentioned in the actual name of the mask brightening pearl extract. So uh, pearl extract contains antioxidants and amino acids that help repair damaged skin and maintain healthy cells. Uh, provides range of minerals such as magnesium, calcium, copper, iron, zinc, and selenium. It has the ability to generate new skin cell growth which gives aged saggy skin a firm and youthful appearance and also combats acne and blemishes. So it sounds pretty friggin awesome all around. Next up is aloe barbadensis leaf extract, aka aloe vera extract. Soothes skin and serves as an anti-inflammatory. Next up is salvia hispanica, aka chia seed extract. It's an emollient and it's skin conditioning as well. Jania rubens extract is in it, aka red seaweed extract, and that is skin conditioning. Next up, they got hyaluronic acid, which provides intense and moisturization. It also contains mineral water in here, which is interesting, and sodium hyaluronate, the salt of hyaluronic acid. It has better skin penetration than hyaluronic acid due to its smaller molecular size, and it also provides intense hydration. The zebra's thirsty, by the way. <laughs> zebra's like Chardonnay, too. Fun fact, this zebra does anyways. <laughs> and next we got dipotassium glycrosate, glycrosate, aka licorice root extract. And the skin conditioning agent works to improve the appearance of dry damaged skin by reducing flaking and restoring suppleness and func also functions as an anti-irritant with anti-inflammatory and skin soothing capabilities. We also have panthenol, which is pro-vitamin B5 and it's a humectant. Uh, they have, it's got tocopherol acetate, which is vitamin E and acetic acid mixed together, and that's, they're both skin conditioning agents. And chrysanthemum indicum extract, that's obtained from herbs, and they have an, an anti-inflammatory and soothing properties. And diospiros khaki leaf extract, aka persimmon leaves extract, and it has skin protecting properties, which is interesting. I'd never heard of persimmon leaves in makeup or beauty products before, I guess. Anyways, <laughs> continuing on. We have Camellia sinensis leaf extract, aka green tea leaf extract, powerful antioxidant and skin conditioning agent. And then next after that, we got Canomiles sinensis fruit extract, aka Chinese quince fruit extract. And Chinese quince is like a flowering shrub, I guess. And that's an antioxidant, antioxidant sorry, um, astringent and a humectant. And then we have Artemisia princeps leaf extract, aka Korean wormwood, and it's skin conditioning. And then they have the PEG 60 hydrogenate, hydrogenated castor oil. PEG has limited evidence of sense organ toxicity, as we've discussed before, um, but castor oil is skin and hair conditioning. So castor oil is good, but not the PEG part of it. Um, and then they also, it does contain parabens. It has methyl paraben, and parabens, as we know, mimic estrogen and therefore can be potential endocrine disruptors. So that's not good. But, sorry, 
my face feels like it's falling off. But, um, yeah, it has a lot of really good ingredients. Sorry, I'm not even in the frame right. It has a lot of good ingredients. And so, yeah, we'll see. I'm not really scared away by the um, two bad ones out of all of that good stuff. And they were very far down. They were, like, the last ingredients on the list, too. So, although paraben, a lot of stuff is paraben-free now. So, I'm curious as to why this couldn't be paraben-free. So, well, sorry. But anyways, I'm going to place you guys on hold now as I still have, like, ten minutes left. <laughs> and I'm not going to make you sit on here and watch me. So, I'm going to go away and let this finish. Ding! <laughs> sorry. So, I will see you guys soon. Hello, my precious little people. Hey. <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyways, I'm back. Um, so yeah, it has been almost 15 minutes now, so I'm about to take this off and show you guys. <clears throat> it stayed pretty good and tight to my face, except for where I was talking, obviously. And so let's peel this baby off. Oh, sorry, I'm in the sun. I'm in the sun. So as you can see, oh, peel it off. I just want to kind of help that excess serum absorb into your face. So kind of gently rub it in. And there we go. So. I don't know, oh, if I get too close, the frickin' sun's going down, so it's... <laughs> Meh, sorry guys. Bad setup. So as you can see, I mean... Um, do I notice super brightening or anything like that? Um, I, I think I looked fresher before, like, when I looked at it. It's kind of hard to tell right now because my skin's still kind of, like, dewy from it. It, it is absorbing pretty fast, though. Um, but, yeah. Uh, I'm going to actually probably... I'll give this one... I really love the packaging. It's really cute. It gives you... It really does give you a laugh. Um, but... The one ingredient I'm not a fan of that really bothers me is the paraben one. Um, just because a lot of things are honestly being made paraben free now, so it, it's confusing to me why this couldn't be made paraben free. Um, I know, like, I don't know. We'll have to ask the cream shop that. So maybe the other cream shop masks, they probably do still have it in them. But they might not. Um, they are, like, worth the laugh, though. Sorry, guys. It's on the wall, so it's, like, reflecting onto my face. But I'll just get in as close as I can to show you. So, um, yeah, no. It, it works. It's got lots of other good stuff in it. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm just not a huge fan of that. I... I'm going to check some of the other animal masks to see if they have the paraben in them because it would be really cool if they didn't. Uh, but yeah, so I'm not a fan of that. It is effective. Um, it feels really good. It does leave a little bit, it gets tacky, not sticky necessarily, but tacky at some point. So um, w through the drying, like it doesn't stay tacky by any means. It does dry, but uh, so there's that too. So. Um, yeah, I'm just probably not going to buy that one again. Um, but yeah, I did like it. The cream shop is good. Uh, it's a cruelty-free brand, so I appreciate that. That's really great. Um, it's affordable too, $7.99 for a box of five. It's really good. But yeah, the paraben thing, I'm not a fan of, so. Yeah, well, I, just, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It was fun for me. <laughs> I gotta go get ready for the rest of my evening now and I hope you guys enjoy your weekends. I think it's the kickoff to the long weekend so cheers to that. <laughs> I'm gonna go get the shit rat. One second. You should really stop calling you shit rat. That's not very nice. It's not very nice of me. 
Ooh, look at how lovely he is, ladies. Look at this beast. So, yeah, thank you so much, guys, and TGIF. TGIF. Oh, I hate everything. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Bye, guys. Thanks for everything. See you again soon. Bye-bye.